Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Coach Ferguson here at uh, Caldwell High School. Uh, I'm in Texas. Uh, we're a 4A high school here outside of Bryan College Station. Uh, you know, talk to you today about some 425 that uh, we've been running for the last few years. Uh, so just kind of give you a little overview. So here's our just our base alignment. So we're a 425. Uh, we're going to split the formation in half uh, with our, and we're going to count to three. And that's how we're going to spin those secondary. You see the the blood safety, the free safety, and the strong safety, how that dotted lines got them three tied together. Uh, so we're going to count to three, one, two, three, and then we're going to spin uh, one of the outside safeties down. And that's going to be his alignment. He's going to be lined up outside of two. His job is going to be to contain the play. He's our force guy that way right there. And then the opposite safety is the force guy the other way. Now you can see our defensive tackles uh, there in head-up twos. Uh, they're going to have a two-way go depending on a call, uh, whether it be our tough call, which puts them in A gap, or our Texas call, which then we can send them uh, right or left depending on how we game plan that particular week. Uh, now our defensive ends and our Sam and our Will, those two are pretty much tied together because they're going to gap exchange depending on what this tackle does, both of them are going to be keying that tackle. And so, uh, you know, they're going to be the C and B gap players majority of the time. Our corners guys, uh, they are man coverage dudes. Uh, they're the type of kids that, you know, we try to get out. Uh, it might be a basketball kid or something that hadn't played a whole bunch. And we just tell them, hey, you just got to go cover somebody. And uh, so that's kind of how, and then our free safety, he, he's, he's probably our best football player uh, majority of the time. And so, you know, he's got to be somebody that can cover, but also that will get downhill and uh, stick his nose in there and go make tackles. Cause he's, he's led our team in tackles uh, every year we've run this. Uh, he's usually over a hundred tackles every year. Uh, Cause the way we kind of sign this defense is to make everything bounce to him and then cap it on each side so that way he can run and go get it. Uh, so just kind of looking at our base coverage rules. So here's our base coverage rules. Uh, so corners got number one, uh, spun down safety. So to the number three side, he's going to funnel number two, and he's going to play two or three on the out. Uh, if two or two's away from him or three's away from him, then he's just going to look to rob number one. Uh, our free safety, he's got two on his half of the field. He's got him vertical or across the formation. So, again, if he runs out, the spun down safety can take him. Uh, the Sam linebacker, he'll take the running back vertical. So, he got he has three vertical uh, on his half of the formation. And the same thing with the wheel. He'll take three on his half of the formation. The other spun back safety, he's got two. Other corner, he's got one. And then – down here on the bottom, it's just if it was if you had spun it right. So that's be right, 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 boom, one, two, three, right, right, right. Now your strong's down. He's the one funneling. Drop it underneath number one. Free safety now has two on the right. Blood safety's got two on the left. Now Sam and Will, again, they're gonna flip. They're the only two guys that flip on our defense. Uh so the Sam will always go to the strength call. Will go away from the strength call. And that's how and then our obviously our secondary again they spin to the three receiver side. All right, so take a look at some video of us running this. All right, so right here, uh, playing Mesquite Poteet uh, there at the Cotton Bowl. Uh, so what you're going to notice is, so this guy, here's our free safety. So starts off where we spun it left. Uh, and then you're going to see these guys are fixing to shift and motion to empty, but really these are the only three guys that are going to move. It's not going to change a whole lot. So it's motion to empty. So now we're going to spin it right, right, right. Again, notice that all three of these guys, one of the things that we, you know, we talk about a lot is communication. I mean, you can see all three of these dudes getting there communicating on what's going on. So now they're going to run this jet motion. Okay. So uh, our Strong safety right here. He's going to come set this edge. Now he's going to dip inside right here, which is something that we really don't really want him to do, but he does. 
if he does, he better make sure he still cuts his edge off, turns it back right here uh, to this guy right here. And again, he's on this jet. He's going to be inside out, running the alley. This guy here is going to play cut back, cut back, cut back, cut back, and then he's going to be ready to go get it if it does cut back. There goes the motion. So notice our defensive end running flat down the line. Misses the tackle, but again, that free safety, there's nobody to block this dude. He's getting downhill. Then we got our cutback. He's playing the cutback, 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 cutback. Don't overrun it. Bam, run and go get it and get to the rock. That's one thing that we'll preach. Uh, one thing that we preach a lot of is getting to the football. And you can get your kids to buy into that. You're going to be obviously well off. So here's the end zone shot of it. So again, spot it left to begin. Talk right, 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 right. Now, Sam and Will. So obviously we spun it left to start. So the Sam is here. Will's here. They're not going to flip uh, once they motion. We're just going to fix it with the secondary guys. And you notice that he winds out because three's to him. So he go ahead and winds out. So that way he can help with three. And then notice our defensive ends. We play a toad in defensive end. Okay. So they're keying that tackle. That tackles, tackles out at me. And I'm fighting up the field right here. Uh, this guy right here, he's keying this tackle. He blocks down. He's going to run flat down a lot of scrimmage and try to run it down from behind. So there goes the motion. Right there, see that defensive end, just running it flat down the line. Tackle block down. So if the quarterback was to have pulled it right here, then your, your Sam is who it would have ended up being. So if he would have pulled it, now you have one, two guys that are unblocked if they did try to pull it with the quarterback off of the read right there. As he's going to be flat down the line, he didn't even worry about the quarterback. These two guys right here would play that quarterback. So again, run it down. Miss a tackle, it's okay. But got guys getting to the football. Pretty good football play right there. All right, so they're going to, we're playing a uh, prosper right here, and they're going to motion twice, and we're not going to move because we've already designated that it's going to be a left call. And so back here on the backside, we got a nub call right here. That's a two back nub for us, so our safety spins down. Our corner spins back, so our corner is going to initially have this tied in man-to-man. -man. This safety now spins down. He's your leverage player, so he's got anybody out for him. And then here's our free safety, and there's going to be nobody to block this dude here in a second. So, again, a motion, a motion. And now because they're motioning over here, Okay, this safety, he doesn't have to spin back because he's not going to have to worry about covering anybody because he only got to worry about two on his half of the formation. So he would only have to worry about a back out or something like that. Again, this dude would have, if they had handed the jet or whatever off, he would be setting this edge and trying to turn everything back into these four dudes right here. So again, two separate motions, nobody moves. Free safety gets downhill, makes a tackle for a no gain. Uh, again, that's the beauty of this defense that we try to do is make it to where nobody will touch this guy right here and just leave him free to go make a play. So now what we do with our D line right here is we call it dig because we're playing prosper who has, uh, this was, they had three division one cats on this offensive line the year we played them, uh, and so our D line wasn't the, the the biggest guys in the world, but they sure could. We could cut the piss out of these dudes, and then we could have a free runner and nobody to block him, and he ends up making a tackle. So again, there goes the motion. Nobody's moving. Okay. Again, these linebackers are keying those tackles. So that tackle was out. So now this linebacker is going to fit this B gap. Okay. Now he didn't end up cutting that dude. All right, but that's okay because he's going to go block the linebacker, but he does end up getting this, uh, trying to run trap right here, okay? So again, he, we get two for one right here off of this guy that cut somebody. Now here comes this guy, and he's going to end up taking him, and again, nobody to account for him. Right there in the hole, right there to make the tackle. 
and then our other linebacker. So he gets a pull. So treat that as a down right there. So now I can step downhill. Again, nobody's there to block that free safety. That's that's the beauty of this defense is we keep everybody off of him, let him go make plays. All right, so right here, uh, so starts off right, right, right. One, two, three. Okay, so got man, got a man, man, funnel, got two vertical across formation. Okay, so uh, this right here is Jason Shelley. Whenever he was at uh, Frisco Lone Star, he'll be the starting quarterback at Utah next year. Uh, they're fixing around a little zone read right here. And you're going to see that we're going to have two guys just sitting there waiting on him whenever he pulls his football. Uh, now they're going to start with an alignment change. They check it right here, and then they're going to flip this back. And so when they flip this back, we go ahead and spin the secondary because we got time. So it starts right, right, right. Boom, they check. So now you see everybody talking, everybody's alignment changes, okay? So now because, because I have, because I got the spun down safety, okay, our corner backs up to eight yards. He's still got number one, but he goes ahead and backs up to eight because he's got that spun down safety. These two guys go ahead and tighten down, tighten down because they don't have a spun down safety, okay? So he's got two, he's got one, and he go ahead, he can move over to his half of the formation now and be ready to play two vertical or cross formation, or if it's run, then get ready to get downhill. Now, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a gap exchange up here between this defensive end and this uh, Sam linebacker. Hey, again, they're keying that tackle, he blocks down, he's flat down the line, he's outside. Right there, and right there to make the play. Now, we also run a twist we also run a twist right here, which the twist comes wide open as well. And then he's able to come off of it and help get on the tackle as well. You know, we'll run a twist just to kind of change it up a little bit on these linemen. So again, notice these linebackers. These linebackers are really wide. We, we like them. Our ends are wide. They're wide. So, I mean, you're playing a wide five. And you're playing pretty much a 50 and a 40 type alignment. Trying to get these dudes outside ready for this gap exchange, especially wherever you know you're playing guys like Jason Shelley and some of those guys that are really good at pulling the ball and playing these running quarterbacks nowadays. So right there, that's a really good job. Our free safety sitting there talking, okay, getting everybody's spawn, get us in the right coverage where we need to be at. Okay, again, you're gonna see this defensive tackle right here in this two technique, okay, forcing this offensive lineman to step down and block him, okay. Again, we're in tough, okay? We're going tough, and this is a rip twist. So, we get got a twist over here on the right, okay? He's going to step into that A gap right there, and then whenever he blocks down, flat down the line, he's outside. And you're going to have two guys sitting there waiting on him. So, there it is, okay? Linebacker keys the tackle. He's down. I'm outside. He's down. I'm flat down the line. So again, I mean, you can see there's nobody to block this dude on the zone. I mean, that's the reason why he pulled it. I mean, he's getting blown up right there, okay? And then again, because it's so easy for these guys to read, they can be there so quick. And now you got two free runners on the quarterback, and there's nobody to block that linebacker. So now you got a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, you know, hopefully you got somebody that, you know, isn't just a robot or somebody there, but somebody that can, you know, move laterally and be able to make a tackle. I mean, yeah, he kind of gets shook right there. But again, we got free people headed there. And again, getting to the football, another good football play. All right, so right here. So here's a three by one, okay? So our three by one, we're going to go solo on this backside right here. Uh, so when he makes a solo call, he's got three vertical or across the formation. Again, right here, you're going to get a funnel and a drop. You get a funnel. You get a funnel out of this guy out of number two, and then he's going to drop to the flat right here. Okay? Now, solo, so he would have the back out. If the back came out, he would have the running back to his half of the formation. Still got a man-to-man -man right here. Okay? Now, you're going to see the corner does a really good job right here because he's going to get a stop. Okay? 
And so what we tell them is, hey, you always tell that spun down safety every play, hey, you got to stop, you got to stop. So he's going to drop and get underneath the stop route. And so when he does, he knows he don't have to worry about it. They're going to run a corner, corner route, and he should sink underneath it. Now he drops a pick right here. But again, jam and funnel, get to the hitch, sink underneath the corner route, got two vertical, got to be ready to on solo, have three vertical across formation. So right there. So here's his two. There's his two coming to him. So he covers him. He's able to help double that. Now he's getting out there to the flat. And now our corner is the one that's going to end up covering this corner route right here. Quarterback's already thinking, oh, I got this a whole shot. And he does a really good job sinking underneath it and should make the play, but tried to jump for the football for some odd reason. But again, everybody does what they're supposed to. Get a good pass rush. Now we just got to finish the play with an interception. Get off the field. All right. Uh, so here's kind of our, here's what our adjustment would be to some type of three back set. So a three back set, we're going to get in a four, four. So if they're balanced, we're balanced. So again, he started off right here. So we had our two linebackers. <coughs> we had our two linebackers, their normal alignment, but then both of our outside safeties, they go ahead and spin down to linebacker depth. And then they're just going to pick up two to the flat to their side. And then we just man up our free safety on the deep back and then you know corners they got number one by themselves now whenever he motions so now that puts us in a heavy call so we go heavy 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 and we hot left hot left hot left and so now we're going to hop the front that way now he spun down outside right here our linebackers all bumped over and so and our free safety bumps over you know they were pretty heavy tendency to run the ball in this formation going to the where they ended up motioning from. So that's what they're fixing to do. So a pretty good little game plan thing was able to do. Again, you got your leverage player right here. You got your alley and then you got your cutback. So again, comes up, sets the edge. Does a good job getting our edge set right here and now making this ball come back inside. Okay, again, you got your cutback player right here. You got your alley player. Now he gets a little bit over the top would like him a whole lot, you know, be inside out on this. And then our linebacker, he kind of gets his shoulders turned, which is a little bit more square. So that way he could have fit it too. He could have taken this run through right here and go make this play. Now our Sam, he does a really good job. He, he knew he could take this run through because our outside safety does his job, sets the edge, come take the run through, see if you can make a play. Again, we got guys getting to the football. Good things happen. So again, you see it right there. So we're balanced up, 4-4, four, four, boom, on the motion. Do a really good job bumping it over. So now on the bump, so now you got your Sam. So now he can sit out here for being ready for the stretch, okay? Now you got your wheel, which ends up just over the center. And then you got your up backside safety sitting there. Now he's playing counter, cutback, reverse, bootleg. That's his job right here, and again, this guy's going to try to run down the line and hop the front to the motion. Again, you see the front, two inside guys go that way. In a defensive end, fight pressure with pressure. He takes up two. So good job by him, two for one. Now there's nobody to block this Sam right here. Take the run through, make the stinking tackle. But again, gives us a chance to get there. Again, good job by this dude right here coming down the line now. And he's able to get there and make the play on the cutback. All right. Uh, so another one of our coverages that we run uh, is just old cover four. So corner's got the numbers. High safety's got the hash. And you got your wheels, got hooked to curl. You got your middle hole. And then your, your blood safety, he's the same thing, hooked to curl, flat. I have a skiff player over here on this uh, uh, strong side. All right, so here we go. So now in four, we'll spin it to the field. Uh, but 
in the case that it's a ballot set or they're in the middle of the field, then we'll just count three and spin it that way. Now, again, because we already spun it, now we're not going to worry about spinning it back because it's cover four, so we ain't got to worry about spinning it. And then we're just going to play our numbers. And again, uh, you know, it's a down and distance type of coverage that we run. So it's third and 16. So we're going to try to make you throw it wide and throw it short and then rally and tackle. So again, see him. So at four, he moves inside. So that way, try to wall this guy out. Again, try to make him throw the ball out here to the numbers and short of the first down. And then we're going to rally and tackle. Again, you can see everybody just staying on their numbers, staying on the hash hash numbers. Don't chase. Now we got to run, rally, and get to the football. Good job right there. Use the sideline as your friend. You get them down. All right. So now it goes three by one. So now he's going to make a solo call again. Getting three by one, going to make a solo solo. So he'll take three vertical across the formation. Linebacker knows I got to have the back out. Again, now he spins inside just to give people a different look. Something for them to have to prepare. Spin inside, be ready to wall two, drop to the flat. Again, third and 13, want to make him throw it short and wide, rally and tackle. And now he's going to do a really good job right here holding this slant. That's what we always talk about, hold the slant and rally the stuff laid out wide don't take the bait or anything out okay hold this slant right here make them throw it wide and short so again solo technique got the hash got my numbers gonna wall him out so again do a good job sit right here in this hole we want to make him throw the ball to this guy right here okay linebacker does a good job of dropping to his you know Low hole right there. Again, just trying to dare him to throw it to this dude right here. And then we got two guys that rally say, we'll let you try to go make a tackle before you get 10 yards. D-line does a good job getting a good pass rush right here. But again, it's really, he's looking to throw this one right here, throw it in that hole. He does a good job not taking the bait and going out wide, sitting in the hole, making that quarterback hold the ball, and then letting the pass rush do their thing. So, really good football play right there. Again, see everybody talking. They get a little solo call right there. Then again, you know, talk, I mean, you see, I mean, he, he wanted to throw a little dig curl route, and the uh, spun out safety did a great job sitting in the hole, and now he had to come off of it, and now we got a chance for the pass rush to get there and get him down. All right, so so those six man pressure. So this is what we call <laughs> tough fire gate. Uh, so gate is just our zero coverage. So corner's got one. I say outside safety's got two. Free safety he's got three. No matter where he's at, he could be a wide receiver or back. He's gonna take three. And also you got your Sam and Wheeler coming on some type of six man pressure. All right, so right here again, uh, getting an empty look. Uh, so again, we don't have to bring pressure. We can call our gate coverage, our zero coverage, and then just have these two guys to be able to drop or to play quarterback run. Uh, so that way we can kind of double these inside guys or, you know, somebody wants to run the double screen, uh, tunnel both sides. And, you know, we got two free runners that all you gotta do is get on the other side of the wall and then go make the play. So again, corner's got one. Outside safety's got two, free safety's got three, wherever he's at. So here's just, he's a number three receiver, so he's got him. And again, want to make sure we're on different levels. Uh, don't be on the same level, so that way they can't pick you off. Make sure you're at different levels. That way you can get over or under, depending on what type of routes they want to run. So again, right here. So now they're going to run screen. And so now, you know, we end up, able to have two guys so now we got that linebacker we didn't blitz him that time so now we got the linebacker and the safety that's covering that guy so now we got two on one okay yeah they got this lineman coming out here but we're gonna hope that our linebacker is faster than this dude and can get there and get there before he does and he does a good job 
ripping underneath it. Boom, makes a big tackle. I mean, one yard loss on a screen play. Uh, again, those are those are big plays in the game, especially when you got somebody backed up. So again, boom, right there. End on this side right here does a really good job. Pass rushing gets a rush on the quarterback. Again, right there, able to make the tackle. Big play, negative one on second and 15 on the screen play. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, now I want to go look at, uh, so we play Frisco High. They're a flex bone team. Uh, so we kind of give you our rules that we use versus a flex bone team. So uh, we're going to get out of our four two five look. Uh but again, we kind of keep the same type of personnel on the field and you can personnel these kids, uh, depending on, you know, kind of how it is that you want to play it. So again, we're still going to stay in our twos and our fives with our, uh, tackles and our ends. So now our Sam, so now he's going to man the fullback. That's his man. Uh, now the defensive ends, we don't change their rules. They're still going to keep tackling they're down the line. So that way they can tackle the dive. Uh, they can tackle the dive right there. And then our two outside linebackers, the will and the blood safety right here, they're going to be your quarterback players. So again, the same kind of deal. They're going to key that tackle. They get a block down. They're going to wait. Okay. They see the quarterback come at them and then they're going to go play the quarterback. And now, so we had two different ways to play these back four. So we had a sky and a cloud. So if we just called sky. Okay. So majority of the time, these guys, you know, they had always short motion. And so if they short motion and we had a sky, uh, a sky call on, then this safety right here, if he got the motion, he's coming down, playing the pitch, he's playing a third, he's rolling and playing a middle third, and then he's pretty much manned up on the backside. And then once that dude did motion, his eyes went directly to this wing because more than likely that's who he's going to get vertical down the field. Uh, now the cloud, cloud concept, uh, then you got your corner. Okay. So now it's playing cover two pretty much. So now your corner is a one. If he gets the short motion, uh, away from him, now he's going to be the one that comes and forces it and is going to become your pitch player. And now the safety gets over the top of number one right here. And then the backside safety gets his eyes on that wing. And then you got your man with your corner on the backside. So again, here we go. So, there's your dive quarterback pitch. So we were in cloud right here. Uh, so corner shows and press. And then whenever he gets this short motion, here he comes. And it's not a deal where we're going to sugarcoat it. I mean, he gets it. It's bump, bump, bump inside. And then here we come. Right here, you can see. So defensive end, uh, we got we had a bear call on right here, which bear just means it was going to cut all the uh, linemen. Okay. And so now, <coughs> you know, makes this play bounce right here. The three unblocked dudes right here. And then you got your pitch player. If he would have pulled it and tried to pitch it, you got plenty of guys. Because we was able to do a really good job right here taking these guys out. And now you got four unblocked cats for three dudes. Now he misses the tackle, which, again, love to make that play. But, again, you can see how these guys roll right here. So here he comes off the corner. Now he spins over the top, plays that guy. He spins to the middle. Eyes go to this wing right here. He blocks, become the alley player. Here to come. Can you see it? Our bear call. So cut that guy. Cut here. Cut there. Again, I mean, these two dudes, these two offensive linemen they had right here, both these guys are at tech right now. Uh, starting on the offensive line for those guys. So Pretty crazy. They went from a flex bone to starting at tech. But again, these two dudes were way bigger than what we were. So we just went ahead and cut them, get them off of these four guys and let them run free and go make tackles. All right. So now we kind of condense. So if they tighten this guy down, then we're going to invert our safety in our corner. So that way, uh, you know, they're probably going to run it this way. Then we can have a safety out here that's ready to fit it versus our corner. So here he comes. Here comes a safety. 
see him spin over. Okay, so now they're going to run Will Vert. So, again, his eyes go to the wing. The wing was out. So, now I find who my new number two is, which ends up being the wide receiver. And now the corner comes off, takes the wheel. He gets over the top, takes the receiver coming down uh, right here and ends up making a pick right here on this play. But, again, everybody ends up covered up. So backside corner man his up. They do a good job switching the wheel. New is gonna, you know, we work this all week. Favorite route combinations out of these types of teams. Does a good job getting the hip pocket. Ends up making a pick. Not a bad job right there. See it from the end zone. Again, see that motion. Gone. Now I gotta find whoever my new number two is. Right there. Good job. Play through the hands. Get a pick. All right. Here we go. So again, see him bring that receiver in. A short split. These two dudes do a good job talking. Spinning down the safety, spinning the cornerback. So now we already know who the pitch player is. If it comes this way, it's going to be the safety that's setting the edge right here. And now he already knows pretty much, unless we get four verticals, that he's going to have to get his eyes on this wing on this side. Again, here he comes. He does a really good job right there setting the edge. Forcing it right there, forcing that back, attacking half the man outside, turning this ball in here. Where now we got corner could be a free runner. Our other safety, here he comes. And our outside linebacker does a good job. We end up getting that guy cut. Now our outside linebacker, because it's tossed, he ain't got to worry about playing no quarterback. And now he can come off of it and come make a play right here. Doing a good job right there. Falling on it, there we get a big turnover inside the red zone right there. Big play in the game. So what? So again, see those two guys kind of talking. Well, they invert. There goes the motion. Here comes the free safety across. Getting the end over here. That was a good job. He cut that tackle. Now the outside linebacker is able to come off of it, make the play, force a fumble. Fumble recovery, set up the offense inside the 15-yard line. Pretty good play. Hey, guys, if y'all need to reach me, uh, you can reach me uh, on Twitter, uh, at Coach underscore Ferg 25, uh, or you can uh, you can reach me, uh, email, uh coach.ferg25 at gmail.com. Thanks, guys, and uh, hope you all enjoy this.